Hey, what's up, guys? This is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the AWVR 7375 and the 7346, which is the gray SD40 2 diesel locomotive that you may have seen in the movie Unstoppable. Uh, you have seen it in the part, I think, part four. I had this crash, I had two of these, and uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, a couple of people requested me to build this, and it's a lot similar to the 1206 but it is just a different color, but it's pretty much 99% the same thing, but I guess people want me to make a tutorial anyways, so uh, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do, let's take a gray concrete, make a 2x3 right on top of the tracks, make the top one uh, 5 blocks wide, and the middle three, we want to have that uh, 31 blocks long, so one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 2, 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And do the same thing in the back that we did in the front. 5 on the top, 3 on the bottom. And we're going to skip a block here and just add it to the middle to make it 3 blocks wide. It's going to be like the floor. The other side, same thing. Oh, are you kidding me? They are hiding everywhere. I told them to leave when it started to build, but yeah, I can easily see them. There's Felix, and there's some people hiding over there. All right, so then we're going to take out some more gray concrete, make this uh, two by five. Like that. Same thing on the other side. So this is like the secondary wall for uh, the stairwell. And then we're going to take stone brick stairs out in the bottom corners. Right in the front and the back. Uh, let's take gray concrete, fill in this middle part here, and let's take out... What did I use? Oak wood slab. Just start to add a stairwell. Well, staircase kind of thing. Or just stairs, not a staircase. Add gray in the middle and add the stairs, which are slabs. And we can also take out a stone brick slab, add in the middle, both in the front and the back. And trip wire hooks for the air brakes. Other side, same thing. And let's add the wheels. So the wheels, as usual, we're going to use. Uh, the hoppers, so there's going to be three axles in the front, so make three pairs of hoppers with a block of space between each of them. And then stone brick slab between. Go to the back, do the same thing. And let's have slabs in the middle. All right, so then, oh, come on, Hans. Hans is right there. That's so obvious. Okay, so then we're going to take out a polished andesite block, skip a block of space between that and the hopper. Just fill in the middle like this. And let's, yeah, just make it three blocks wide. Fill in the sides. And then we're going to add um, upside down stone brick stairs on the bottom for both sides. And let's see if it's different on both sides since I know... Okay, so it's not different at all, so that's good. So we're going to take out polished andesite and add five on both sides. <laughs> we're going to leave like the front part alone. All right, so then we're going to add um, oak wood slab. And just try to connect uh, this level. It's like a yellow stripe that goes across. Just have that on the sides. Do the one in the back as well. And the side. Then the front. And the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because I don't have any other train to do right now. So I said if I run out of ideas, I'm just going to do uh, this one <laughs> since it is already done. So now we're going to take out 
nether brick uh, fence. Try to make this front part like this. And then let's add two blocks tall right here. And extend one in the back and make that two blocks tall as well. So this will be like sort of like another stair. But you can't actually place it since the blocks are going to block it and at the railings in the back with the fences and let's add one another brick fence right there so now we can work on the whole of this so let's make the hood first so we're going to be using yellow concrete and black wool for this so yellow concrete right here in the middle and then uh, black wool sort of make this V shape and we want to have like this checkerboard pattern so just try to do that and we're going to make it three blocks tall so it should look like this or like an X shape and also on the back it's a similar concept so let's take out yellow is that in the middle as well right here try to make a V and just pretty much alternate between black and yellow and we want to make this taller so it's like five blocks tall which is pretty tall actually alright so then we're going to take out a light gray concrete and make the most of this hole so let's add a layer after this so just fill in this hood area and for the cab we're gonna make it five blocks tall I believe yeah five blocks tall like this pillar add two by two right down below and another five block tall uh, pillar like that and let's do the same thing on uh, this side so it looks like that and also in the middle we want to fill that in on the roof with the light gray concrete blocks like that and actually on the sides let me cut that down because <clears throat> that's actually a slanted part of the roof so let's use stone brick stairs for that so add five on the sides and for the numbers I use black wool down here you can put a minecraft sign there if you want to we're also going to take out light gray concrete, add another part of the wall right here, and just put a center pillar right there so it separates the two windows. And just have parts sticking out right there for the light, <coughs> which is a torch. Uh, we can also take out a sign, add that to the sides for uh, the number plates. And there is also a number of plates in the back, so let's add that. We're also going to add a twin light, which is a birch open fence gate. Right in the middle of these number plates. And then we're going to take out some more light gray concrete and add, what is this, like a 4 by 5. So 5 blocks long, 1, 2, three four five and four blocks tall just fill in this uh, area all right cool so then we're gonna have to make like this logo all right for the logo let's add a uh, black wool two by two right here and next to it let's make an upside down L shape with the yellow and a right side up L shape with the black wool. Now for the other side, I'm going to try to reverse it. So let me check if it's like the right place I'm doing it. No, I'm not. I have to cut out right here. So right there, let's make an L shape like this. And then a yellow upside down L shape. And then a black wool L shape. Is that it? Okay, no, it's not. It's a two by two with one sticking out the bottom, and this side, this will stick out. So, yeah, you can see like there's kind of like these 
L shapes in a pattern like that. All right, so for the rest, uh, we're just gonna fill that in with uh, light gray concrete all the way around bottom layer two. Yeah, it's just the same thing over and over again. I mean, it is a pretty cool color scheme, I guess. Pretty simple, too. And even though it's like the same railway company, AWVR, they have like a bunch of color schemes, which is not the case in real life. But I guess if it's for a movie and then you want to identify uh, what's happening, then I guess that's why they did that. All right, so for the middle, we're going to fill that in with light gray uh, concrete like that. And we're going to add the side vents. So in the back, there will be three bedrocks, skipper block, and another three bedrocks. The other side, it's the same thing. So, so far, it's pretty symmetrical. And in the front, we're going to skip a block, add two. And let's fill in the rest with light gray concrete, like so. All right, so then we're gonna add like this uh, side vent that sort of sticks out. So right after this bedrock block, we would have an upside down stone brick stairs like that and one sticking out like that. And then we're going to take out nether brick uh, stairs, and that will be five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And then at the back, we're going to have a curved uh, stone brick stairs. So let's just do the same thing on the other side. And let's take out a uh, light gray carpet. Just cover up this. Uh, v in the front and also these vents where you don't want them showing right on top of the roof and also on the sides as well we can cover that up make them all like one color just to blend it in all right so then we're gonna make like these bumps they're supposed to be like fans and we're gonna have uh, two stone brick slabs like that skip a block another one skip a block another one skip a block another one and skip a block one last one and then after that we're gonna skip a block add a stone pressure plate skip a block another stone pressure plate and we're gonna add a horn right here in the middle so that's after the second bump so we just add a skeleton skull right there and a dark oak fence gate on this side for the horn now we can work a bit on the rest so the sides uh, we're going to take out two light gray concrete blocks in this nook right there okay so we're going to make like this bump so this is the area where it is asymmetrical so just take out stone brick slab add one right here and we're going to have it uh, every other block so that will be six in total so one two three four five six and right above the sixth one we want to have uh, another brick stairs facing backwards like that in the other side we want to have another brick stairs like that so for the next part we're just going to add the railing so that's just another brick fence every other block but the ones between uh, the slabs we want to make them two blocks tall and after it, the rest is just one block tall. Just make sure they're all evened out. And we're pretty close to finishing this up. All right, so then we're gonna take out spider string, which I don't think I have right now, so let me grab it. And I just messed up. String. And just add a... Uh, in between all of the fences this is just to hold up the carpet and it's also good since it's like sort of invisible like you can't really see it all 
All right, so then we're gonna use a black carpet. Just go along, add the railing off to each part. I thought I messed up there, but I didn't. This side, same thing. Alright, so then we're going to add the door banner. So to make the banner, we're going to take out black banner, add light gray dye border around it. Then we're going to take that banner, add a 2x3 light gray dye at the bottom of it. And that's how we get our door banner. And just, so then we're going to take that banner, just add it in the front and the back of the cab. It's really up to you if you want to include it though. I think there might actually be lights right here, but because for the animation we can't really render item frames, so just in case there is, I'm just going to add some lights where the railing is. Because usually for this locomotive they have lights, so let me just add that. Just item frames with white glass inside of it. And also we forgot to add some windows, so let's take out our black stained glass block. Add it to the front of the cab. And black stained glass panes on the sides. Like so. Alright, so uh, let's take an inspection to see if we're all done with this locomotive. But it is a uh, pretty simple to do locomotive. So uh, yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build the AWVR gray diesel uh, locomotive in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future and I will see you guys next time. Bye.